Cardiac accelerator nerves are sympathetic nerves that transfer signal from cardiovascular center to the heart. Cardiovascular center would be groups of neurons that we have in medulla oblongata. Recall medulla oblongata is the lowest part of the brain, the part of the brain that is fused to the spinal cord. And also, it is important to note that spinal cord is divided to five different sections. So, when we're going through a fight or flight or emergency situation, signals from the neurons in cardiovascular center would be sent through cardiac accelerator nerves toward the heart. But it is important to notice that cardiac accelerator nerves exit through the thoracic section of the spinal cord. When we follow cardiac accelerator nerves, we see that they have branches to supply sinoatrial node and atrioventricular node. Also, they do have branches to supply the myocardium of all four chambers, and specifically, they supply most of the myocardium of the ventricles. So one by one, we analyze when action potential is transmitted through cardiac accelerator nerves, what do we notice, what change we notice in the physiology of the heart? Cardiac accelerator nerves stimulate cells that we have in SA and AV node. As a result, the number of heartbeats per minute, that would be heart rate, would increase. And that makes sense. In a fight or flight or emergency situation, heart rate has to go up. Also, cardiac accelerator nerves stimulate the myocardium of the chambers, and specifically speaking about the ventricles, when the cardiac muscles in the wall of ventricles are stimulated, they contract more forcefully and generate more force to push more volume of blood out. So, we say that the forcefulness of muscle contraction, myocardial contractility increases, and that leads to ventricles pumping more blood out each time that they contract. That would be an increased stroke volume. So in short, cardiac accelerator nerves increase both heart rate and stroke volume, and we know cardiac output equals stroke volume times heart rate. When both heart rate and stroke volume increase, that simply means cardiac output increases. And that would be the scientific explanation why when we are in a fight or flight situation, our ventricles pump more volume of blood in every minute compared to the time that we are at rest. Next, we focus on the end of cardiac accelerator nerves and we notice that these sympathetic nerves release a neurotransmitter named norepinephrine. Norepinephrine binds to receptors that we have in the sarcolemma, that would be the membrane of the muscle cell, in this case the cardiac muscle cell, that we name these receptors that cardiac muscle cells do have in their sarcolemma beta-1 adrenergic receptors. And as soon as norepinephrine binds to these beta-1 adrenergic receptors, the ion channels for positively charged ions, cations, open and due to the inflow of these cations, the cell is excited, is stimulated. So that's the reason that when cardiac accelerator nerves send signal, they can stimulate cells that we have in SA node, AV node, and also in the myocardium of the chambers.